Hey DIYers, I'm George with Alarm Grid. Today we're going to be going over compatible AUI devices for your Vista 20P panel. Now, AUI devices are stands for Advanced User Interfaces, so these are going to be mainly touchscreen keypads that are for your Vista panel. Now, for the Vista series, there is the 6280, there's a Tuxedo Touch Wi-Fi, and a VAM. Let's start with the 6280. A 6280 is just a touchscreen keypad. It has the same look as the Tuxedo Touch Wi-Fi. The only difference between a 6280 and Tuxedo Touch Wi-Fi is that the Tuxedo Touch Wi-Fi has a Z-Wave controller built in, giving your panel access to Z-Wave devices. So you can control lights, locks, thermostats, uh, lamp modules, bulbs, anything that Z-Wave that you have learned into your Tuxedo Touch Wi-Fi, you can control through the actual keypad or if you're monitored, you can even learn them in through Total Connect and set up scenes and create them. Um, the VAM, it is nothing like the 6280 or Tuxedo Touch Wi-Fi. The only thing the VAM is, the reason it's considered an advanced user interface is because it does give Z-Wave capabilities to your Vista panel. So it's not an actual keypad that you can go up to it and press. You can actually access the VAM's emulator by connecting your VAM to your Wi-Fi and then logging on to its IP address and it'll emulate the same screen that a 6280 or a Tuxedo Touch Wi-Fi have. Now, the Tuxedo Touch Wi-Fi and the 6280 are both touchscreen. If you see, boom, I touch the screen and then all the buttons, there's no push buttons. Yeah? Now, most Vista panels support up to four AUI devices. So that means you can have up to four different mix and matches of whatever those three combinations you want. It's 6280s, Tuxedo Touch, Wi-Fi's, and VAMs. Um, if you have a Vista with a PROM chip of 3.0, it only supports two AUI devices. If you have a Vista with a PROM chip 5.0 and higher, you that's when you can start doing the four AUI devices. Um, so if you see here, in order to use the Tuxedo Touch Wi-Fi or any of these devices, you do need to have them addressed. By default, once you first power on and your Tuxedo Touch Wi-Fi, since that's what we're going to be experimenting with today, is connected to your Vista panel, it automatically is going to be set to 1. If you guys ever need to change that, there's four different slots you can change it to. There's 1, 2, 5, and 6. These are going to be your AUI slots that you're going to be that you're going to be using in order to if you have multiple keypads that you need to set them to. Now, one thing you guys want to keep in mind is if you're being monitored and you have Total Connect, which is the app, that is one AUI slot. It is an advanced user interface since it technically has the virtual keypad and since it's also technically a keypad for your panel since you can arm and disarm from it and it'll let you know it'll notify you of alarms so that's going to take up one slot that's something you want to keep in mind especially for you guys over there or for users who have up to three or four tuxedos yeah you want to keep in mind that the total connect will take up one slot so in order to change the slots because you want to make sure you they're not on the same slot either because if they are you will get a conflict error on your tuxedo touches or on either one of the AUI devices. We're going to go ahead and show you. If you look on the bottom left, there's going to be a tool section, the wrench and the little screwdriver there. You're going to hit the tools, hit tools. You're going to go to system and then CS setup. Once I go to CS setup, it's going to ask me for a code. You're going to want to use the installer code. If you've changed yours, go ahead and use that one. The default installer code, however, that I'm going to be using for Honeywell is 4112. It gets me into the screen after I enter in 4112, and you're going to see ECP address. Now, when you go to ECP address, off to the left, you're going to see mine is automatically set to 1. You can change it by going up. That'll change it to 2. You can continue going up to 5 or 6. If I were to change it to two and I hit apply, the system is going, or the, the, the keypad will reboot. For instance, you'll see here, system will reset. It's gonna reboot back up on ECP address two. Now I may get an error if you have not programmed that slot to take in an AUI device, 
you will get an error on your tuxedo touch. So before you do that, you also want to make sure that you have an actual programming keypad, a 6160, 6150, in order to program these keypads as an AUI or to program that slot to take in an AUI device. You can ask your monitoring company to do it. It's very easily done. Um, after it reboots, you'll then be able to use it again. And uh, as for when we were in the installer code menu, if you have not connected your tuxedo touch panel, your tuxedo touch keypad to the Vista panel, then the tuxedo touches on their own have their own installer code of 4140. So that's only if you have not connected the tuxedo touch to your panel. If you have it powered on, the default installer code is 4140. But once it's connected to your panel, it now it's using the panel's information and the panel's installer code, which by default is either 4112 or whatever you have changed it to. Now, again, guys, this was just a quick tip on or a quick little overview of all the compatible AUI devices for the Vista panels. We have the VAM, Tuxedo Touch Wi-Fi, and the 6280. If you guys have any questions whatsoever, you can always email us to support at alarmgrid.com. If you found this video helpful, hit like underneath, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and enable notifications. That way, whenever we upload new content, you guys get notified. Again, guys, I'm George with Alarm Grid. Thank you guys very much. Have a great day.